This past summer, Jamie and I took the kids on a few one-day vacation getaways. One of the trips took us to Fort Scott, Kansas, where we took a tour of the fort, but also we went to a very small waterfall just outside of town. Here's a picture of the kids at the waterfall. As beautiful as waterfalls are, I have never thought to myself, I think the water is alive. Now, yes, the water always seems to be moving, but to think that the water can actually breathe is ridiculous. Or is it? Because believe it or not, Jesus has actually talked about living water before. And he talks about it to the woman at the well in John chapter 4. John 4 verse 10 says, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. So what does Jesus mean by living water? In the Old Testament, there are many verses that speak of thirsting after God as one thirsts after water. And in Jeremiah chapter 17, God is called the fountain of living water. So in saying that he would bring living water that could quench a person's thirst for God, Jesus is claiming to be the Messiah. And as we look back now, we see Jesus was telling the truth as only the Messiah could give this gift that satisfies the soul's desire. So the next time you take a drink of water, remind yourself of how Jesus is the living water. And with him in your life, you will never thirst again.